been with the homemade. Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes, but that still leaves Inominat and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple? It's a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. A fortune apple. Hmm. Huh. But we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. My power to consume is a part of Inominat. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way! That's a good luck charm! That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So, where's our final destination? The Empyrean's throne. Sail for Port Zexon. Aye aye, ma'am. Aye aye, sir. Do you think that with Inominat's power waning, people will be free again? Well, the pirates are acting like pirates again. May take longer for others, but I think it's happening. What do you think of traveling around to see for ourselves? I'd like to know what's going on out there. I'd like to meet the Elemental Empyreans, if I could. That's not a great idea. They're all in various Earth Pulse points, but where those are is a mystery. They could be very far off, and they might not view us as allies. Yep, gods live by their own rules. Our business with Inominat probably doesn't concern them. You're right. It might be wise to scope out the situation before our battle. As we go around, we might find out more about what Artorius is up to. Just don't eat him. Got it? <laughs> I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> So, what was it you needed to say to me alone? Where's Lafayette? He wanted to stand watch with me, but I forced him to get some rest. After all this fighting, he needs it. I owe you. That kid always tries to play the tough guy. Just like the one who named him. He's nothing like me. His motivation comes from hope. Hope. The wind is nice. Yes, the world may teem with hardship and sadness, but it's also filled with beauty. The endless ocean, the islands in the south, even the frozen tundra and the mountains that spew fire. It is. And humans make their home among all that beauty. This is the world that Luffy always yearned to travel. I finally understand what he saw when he sat looking out over the ocean. Eleanor, I have a single favor to ask of you. If anything happens to me, take care of Luffy said. What? Is something the matter? The power possessed by the Therians and Inominat is fundamentally the same. I have a theory. No, theory is too rational. A different part of me, something separate from my hatred, wants me to do something. It wants me to leave this world with hope. Wait, you don't mean... Humor me, okay? If the worst happens, I'm counting on you. I understand. You have my word. I'll look after Lafayette. 
While I'd love to take advantage of this momentary weakness, I can't. My oath is to obey your orders until my dying breath. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about all that. Good thing I kicked your butt after all. Well, the suppression field is gone. And in its place, rampaging demons. We expected that. Thanks. For everything. I only did what I felt like doing. Who needs thanks for that? Let's go. We have a fight to finish with the Shepherd. You know Minot's power may have weakened, but I think that'll only cause more of a stir in the cities. Without the Abbey's exorcists, the people will have a hard time quelling demons. Are you crying? I'm simply coming to terms with reality. I've learned to think for myself rather than let others do the thinking for me. It's painful and frightening, and comes with great responsibility. But this is who I am now. It's on me to own up, face my fears, and keep moving forward. You're a piece of work. But I don't mind having you around. <laughs> yes. I'm not weak like I used to be. No, you aren't. You don't have to bear the weight of the world alone, though. I understand that. I will do only what I can. You always say that, but then you end up overdoing it, right? If you push yourself to the limit and it's still not enough, there's no shame in relying on others. Brokuro, thank you so much. You realize you just thanked a demon, right? I'm aware of that. You're the ones who liberated us from Inominat's domain, right? I want to thank you for all that you've done. You really don't have to do that. I was just acting in my own interests. If any Molochim still get in my way, I won't hesitate to devour them. Hey, hold up! Most of us are under the influence of Inominat's power and have been robbed of our free will. The majority of Malakim are too afraid of malevolence to even go near humans. Before Inominat's interference, we were a peaceful people. That doesn't matter to me. We get what you're saying. But if we go easy on anybody, then we'll be the ones who get killed. If you truly want to protect your friends, you'll have to stop us by force. Uh. Wouldn't you agree that having free will means choosing the path you believe in? I suppose you're right. And that's why we too will work toward the future we desire. In order to achieve a perfect fusion of human and Moloch power, the Abbey gave Armadi a physical form. Specifically, their vessels embedded with a formula that can manipulate mana. They call these objects divine artifacts. Is that what that bow is? Yes, this is one of the divine artifacts. We've decided we want to pass on the knowledge behind the divine artifacts and armatization to future generations. Uh -huh. Why would you want to do that? Armatization is dangerous. We want to enable humans and Malakim to coexist. What? In its current form, Armatization is a one-sided process, allowing a human to exploit a Moloch's power. But imagine if humans and Malakim could armatize with mutual awareness and consent. It could provide just the edge our people need to battle the great forces who seek to harm our world. Like the Lord of Calamity, you mean? Well, do what you want. It's another potential for the future. Yes. But I have one warning for you. The divine artifact intended for Inominat is already complete. You know what that means, don't you? Artorius himself will use the divine artifact to armatize with the Nominat. For the good of the future, we'll pray for your success in battle, Lord of Calamity. <laughs> Nice that we've tracked down in Ominot, but uh, now what's the plan? That wasn't in sky. I don't think even Griffin could get us up there. <sighs> and my guardian takes one passenger only. I don't think we need to worry about that. Huh? 
Well, looky there. A teleportation art. Looks like we're expected. For you know me not to fully awaken. They need me and Lafayette. Which means they want to settle this once and for all, too. Sounds good to me. Bring it on! Is what reckless idiots say before plunging into the unknown. Be more cautious. S sorry Wow. That is the first time I've ever heard Magilu say something sensible. A bad omen. Let's be careful and take a good look around first. <laughs> Belittling a faithful ally right before the final showdown? Do you not cry? If I prick you, do you not bleed? I can see the dungeon element right there. No exorcists here, it looks like. But a whole lot of Malachim. These Malachim are the sublords who have packs directly with Enominat. Be careful. He's likely given them a share of his power. In other words, trouble. Not at all. We'll just whip out our knives and carve a path. Our path now leads to the Empyrean Enominat and Artorius. What a strange feeling. Yeah, it's not every day you make an enemy of the entire world and head out to cut down a god. That is certainly true. But what surprises me more is the passion that fills me. Yeah. You're leaps and bounds more stubborn and willful than any of us. I'll take that as a compliment. If you weren't, I don't think you'd have been able to make a pact with Lofi Seth. It's because of you, Eleanor, that I've been able to take this voyage around the world. You have my thanks. I also wish to offer my thanks. And look at you, kiddo. Despite the unfortunate company you've chosen to keep, you've managed to grow into a fine young man. Good on you. It's true, isn't it? It kind of makes me want to give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> you said it, kid. Velvet gave me a name, and Eleanor became my vessel. Aizen and Rokuro taught me how to live, and Moggy Lou provided lots of surprises and laughs. All of that made me who I am now, and I'm glad for it. What about me? Didn't I do something for you? Grim taught me the ancient tongue, and Bienfu... Didn't do much. Yeah! You're mean! <laughs> I'm kidding. Bienfu taught me to never be discouraged. I think. Oh, Afi said, you're so kind! Well, well. Seems the enemy's hate for us has galvanized our spirits. We don't know what's ahead. Stay sharp, everyone. Yeah. thing to hang in the sky. Wasn't Inominat's vessel supposed to be the Earth? Well, stereotypically at least, gods tend to have a penchant for high places. Gods and other things. And other things? You mean birds? I'm talking about people like you. Birds. Birds fly because they must. Luffy said that a long time ago. That must be the answer Artorius was looking for. And yet, is it my answer? Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at how high up we are. And how round the world is. So, the world is round. How did you not know that already? The horizon at sea has always been curved like this. Right. That's why you always see the masthead of an approaching ship first when it comes over the horizon. Give you to a sight like this and you're still unimpressed. And you're gawking at the sights in our enemy's lair. Hmm. The energy's in this place. Yes. It's just as I'd expected. What is? 
I know what this temple is made of. It's crystallized energy drawn and condensed from the Earth Pulse by Inominat himself. To put it another way, this place is the Empyrean Inominat's body. You mean... he just dove straight into Inominat's belly? If you knew that, then why... I warned you, didn't I? Now quit making such a racket in the enemy's lair. You're right. Actually, it's not that different from the Earth Pulse when you think about it. Besides, if we want to defeat Inominat, then coming in here is our only option, no matter how tremendous his power. If we can destroy his heart, he can be killed. Yep, but in this case, the heart is Inominat's true body and Shepard Artorius himself. We might be the ones who get destroyed. This is not news, Magilu. It's too late to get scared now. Yeah, I figured as much. I can feel him. Inominat is just up ahead. Finally, time to repay my debt. You just like saying that, don't you? Ah, you saw right through me. Oh, come on. It wasn't hard. Nobody here is gonna do anything for anyone but themselves. I can't deny that. Your wheel is yours alone to hold. That is our creed. <laughs> I can just geo bore my way up here. Shepherd, the Lord of Calamity and friends are here to see you. I can't wait to strike down the world's greatest swordsman. You picked a fight with the I3 pirate crew. Now we're here to finish it. Lord Artorius, I follow my own will now, and I'm going to stop you. In my sword lie the hopes of mankind, the potential for a perfect world. that will without reason can break it. Ever since you hit me, I've had this really annoying feeling in my chest, but I can't figure out what it's it is. It's love. Then I'll just have to hit you again and see if that Oh happens. shit. Hmm. I'm sure I'll feel better after I eat you. Not something an angel would say. sort of foolishness is what creates the demons and plunges the world into tragedy and despair then you drive the demons out isn't that right shepherd artorius that has been my plan all along
Weak to fire, weak to earth. I shall sever all our ties. What the hell is that on my screen? Okay, never mind. Oh, motherfucker. He's the reason, right there. my comb that was the comb that Lofty gave me not you know me not uh, of course I mean know me not now reborn and you are the Lord of calamity oh, Artorius I'm hungry my stomach is empty my chest is empty. My body is empty, too. I'm... It hurts. It hurts so much. It looks like we won't be able to harvest despair by eating you anymore. Well, then. Birds must fly. Because they possess strong wings. Mankind must be suppressed because it possesses great sin. Malevolence, tragedy, war, anger, tears, even love must all be suppressed. With the grace of my beating wings, 
I will grant humanity the tranquility it deserves. You know me not. Come, devour my despair. Hold it. Alright, this is gonna fucking blow. Fire and wind. was filled with this much despair? Was he holding it in check this whole time? One more step, and he would have become a demon. Such is the power of Artorias' determination, but also the proof of his true nature. We can't lose to him now! We'll never lose to despair! Going after children?
holy shit, I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. That shit took me 29 minutes. And, and, no, and nobody died. I didn't lose. Holy shit, I clutched the fuck up. Eight KOs. I don't give a damn about that. But, oh my god. Oh. I finessed that shit. Strong. Let us settle this here and now, Lord of Calamity. I just did that. It's what you told me once, long ago. On the day of the opening, Velvet, the Arthur you knew, died that day. It was always there, in the back of my mind. Same thing, so many times. If it had been us, and I know, I know you would have fought to save the world for us. It's true. I wanted to save everyone. Such. It all, even though I was scared, even though it hurt. I know. I drank that gross medicine. I stopped myself from doing what I wanted to do, eating what I wanted to eat. I tried so hard. Why won't you give me this? I hate you! I hate you, Velvet! Fluffy said, you tried really hard. But you don't have to fight anymore. It's time for...
for us to rest. Rothi. Velvet will let Inomi not devour her forever. With her forever devouring him in return, she will seal him while keeping him alive. An infinite contradiction, a perpetual cycle of destruction. Velvet, you can't! You and I are part of Inomi not V. If he dies, both of us will die too. I dug my own grave. But. but you. After eating, living, doing everything you want to in life. <laughs> I really am horrible, aren't I? Just a selfish failure of a human being. But despite all that, you still saved me. With your unwavering kindness and strength. I didn't do anything. Velvet, you were the one who... Fee, you must have seen it during our travels. Humans spend their lives in constant struggle. That's why they end up making so many mistakes. Even my poor brother. That's why I'm asking this of you. Please live. I was the cause of so much chaos and destruction. Help the world I ruined. Help people like me. Help the weak. This is my last selfish request. That's... that's not fair! I'm truly... sorry. Love you too. You show up. Pretty irresponsible if you ask me. You were mistaken. Without it, no me not. The balance of our power will crumble. The elements will clash in violence and ruin. The world will take millennia to recover from the destruction. No! To save the world from destruction, a new imperialist. A bulwark of great strength. Be your new Empyrean. Hold on a second, Lafisat. You can't just. Let's hear him out. You are part of Inominat. You are not lacking in strength. But the question here is one of your intent. Just what do you wish for this world? What will you bring unto its denizens? I want people to have another chance. A chance for them to right the wrongs born of their fallible spirits. To give those who dream of flying the time they need to rest their wings. So that in their strength, their weakness, their cruelty, their kindness, these imperfect humans will one day stretch their wings toward the horizon. Make your dream come reality, young Imperium.
back on the ground. The Dragon of Light. Good grief. Velvet's recklessness rubbed off on him. Hasn't it, Lofty Set? Huh? Is that really Lofty Set? But how? That is his Empyrean form. It's also proof of his determination. Like an oath? Yes. Do I frighten you now, Eleanor? Not at all. You've matured into a fine man. So was that flame your true power as an Empyrean? Demons. Malevolence. Did that fire get rid of it all? No. I'm still very much a demon. The silver flame has the power to cleanse a soul of its malevolence and change a demon back into a human. But it doesn't have the power to change people's hearts. It just gives them another chance at life. Isn't that right? Sorry. Looks like my sins run too deep to fix. That's fine. It's a part of who you are, Rokuro. You're still a softie, aren't you? Well, that's just great. Huh? Most of the exorcists are wiped out. But the evil and chaos in people's hearts lives on. It's gonna be tough going from here on out, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Even still. Humanity will never lose its hope, or its prayers for a better future. Well said! The Malachim have free will again. Some may even lend you their aid to help create this ideal future of yours. I will spread the word. This world is now under the protection of the Empyrean Lafayette. Um, would you mind not calling me that? I don't think it really fits who I am now. I guess you're right. That was Velvet's name for you. Okay, what should we call you then? Call me by the name Eleanor gave me. One who lives. That's what Lofty said means. Translated into the ancient language. Yeah, it looks like I did it. GG's all around. Jazz, were you were you lurking when I was in that final fight, man? Cause that shit took 30 minutes and I clutched all the way the fuck up. Holy shit. Like I pulled I pulled a miracle out of my ass with that one. Yes, but I wish to skip this. I'm not a man of credits. This is not the end of chaos. It is the beginning. fighting without end.
just as they did. For every laugh, there will be tears. This world is cruel and unforgiving. Hey, come on! Even the gods themselves don't know what the future will bring. Congratulations on completing the game. You can now save your data and later load it to continue playing from just before the final battle. Additionally, New Game Plus is now available from the title screen. Selecting this option will allow me to start the game anew using my completed game data. Would you like to save that shit? Hell yeah, I want to save that shit. What you mean?